couple of new features that I want to show uh, in Darkmark, things I've worked on in over the last week. Let me load up a slightly simpler one. Let's go to the mailbox one. All right, as you're tagging images, let me find a good, here's a sample one. So let's say that I had accidentally marked this up as a four instead of 14. When you're done tagging your images, you would then right mouse click and review marks. This builds up an index of all of the things that you've marked up. You've got the classes on the top, so you can go through and verify that everything makes sense. Uh, and if we go, if we skip ahead, there you go. Um, so when I get to the fours, I can see everything's a four. Oops, up until I get here. So double click on the ones that are wrong and it'll load that image. So then you can look through and you can say, okay, this one needs to be fixed. Change that back to a 14. There you go. That's done. Uh, the other thing I worked on is a, uh, is the jump window. Uh, there's also a keyboard shortcut, which is the J key. Uh, so the jump window lets you quickly jump around between all of the images when you're sorted randomly. Um, there's much that it can do. When you're sorted alphabetically, it shows you some additional information, which can be useful. Uh, so the way that I set up my projects, if we take a look at this, um, when I go out and take pictures, I put them in different folders, which in this case set 01, 02, 03. So I went out on six separate days to take pictures for this particular object. When we take a look at the jump window, there are six different sections. So one, two, three, four, five is really skinny, and six. This represents the number of pictures in each of these sets. So set number five only has a few pictures in it. Then the horizontal line, which for the first four is uh, the green line at the very top, is uh, that gives you an idea of the number of images that you've marked up in that particular set. So for in the first four sets, I've marked up 100% of the images. In set number five, I've got maybe 80%, and in set number six, I've got somewhere between 20 and 25%. So if I... If I get rid of this window here. If I jump around to any of these locations, we should see that all of these are marked up. If I go to the last one, then most of these images have not been marked up. And if I go to this one here, there should just be a few images that haven't been marked up and the rest of them have. So that's it. These are the two new features that were added to Darkmark over the last uh, over the last few days.